Welcome back. Today we're going to do the top 10 most iconic folding knives ever. And uh, these are knives that, are, that have stood the test of time. They, they continue to be produced and continue to be loved by many. Now, of course, there's a few on here that are not on here, like, say, the sword knife and the meerkat or whatever. Those, I, I just don't see them as much as I see the rest of these knives. So this is my, my opinion, and this is my top 10 list here. So we're going to get started first with the Openel knife. The knife was first introduced in 1890, uh, and it was really initially designed to be a very simple, affordable tool for farmers and rural workers. Now they come in so many different uh, types of wood. I think the original was in beech wood. You can get it in different size ranges, and you can also get it in a carbon steel blade or a uh, stainless inox blade. They're really popular because they're super lightweight, super slicey blades, and they're very inexpensive <laughs> and uh, this particular one is a mod job that I did and this is something that has become popular uh, between some of the uh, fans of the open L knife they do all kinds of cool mods to the actual scales and change them out and stuff like that very cool little market they have there for modding uh, knives especially these knives and they're fairly easy to mod you know this was my first I think mod job I did I shortened the blade, crowned the spline, shortened the handle, burned the scales. It was a fun little project. And they also uh, have this locking ring right here that you twist and you essentially have a locking knife now. Only thing that I don't love about the knives is how thick the handle scales are but and no pocket clip. They do sell now aftermarket pocket clips that you can add to them and uh, definitely a cool knife. Number two is Victorinox. They were patented in 1897, and there's a fun fact that uh, the name Victorinox was derived from the founder's mother. Her name was Victoria, and Inox, short for Inox Iodizable, <laughs> which means stainless steel in French. So combine the two, giving you the name Victorinox. I, I read that in their little book that I bought a long time ago. Very interesting stuff. And there's so much history to uh, Victorinox. They were initially produced for the Swiss Army, but later they expanded their product line uh, to include uh, Swiss Army knives for civilian use. And now they're, an, they're a global company. They produce kitchen cutlery. They produce watches, travel gear, even fragrances. That's something I did not know that they did is fragrances. There's so many different modifications you can make on them. Uh, custom versions like this one. Um, you can get the plastic scales. You can get the aluminum A-locks in different colors. And the most sold knife on Amazon is the classic SD, not the A-locks, the plastic version. I couldn't find mine, but this is uh, the most sold knife on Amazon. I, I forgot the, the amount that it, that it had stated, but just outrageous. Um, they're just very handy tools. Number three, Buck Knives 110 Folding Hunter. First released in 1964 is definitely Buck Knives' most iconic folder, hands down. I would venture to say that it's the most copied folding knife out there. Uh, it's a USA-made classic. Even though it's not as popular today with the enthusiasts, at least the original uh, made one due to its weight and lack of pocket clip. But it's a super tough knife, and uh, it's been through several different iterations of of the knife this is a newer one this is a older one without without any chamfers on it and a broken tip that i had to fix on it and then the uh more you know modern version of it with the micarta s30v steel then you have the s45 vn here with the marble carbon fiber and aluminum and this one and this one have a pocket clip this one has a weird looking thumb stud Buck knives to me are sentimental because one of my first uh, folding, uh, real true folding knives was the Buck 55 back whenever I was a, a very young kid hunting with my brothers. Number four, the CRKT M16, which was introduced in 1999, designed by custom knife maker and great Kit Carson, a very well-known and popular maker. Uh, it became a popular model for the tactical users First time I remember seeing their new auto lock system that they had. It was a safety secondary locking system. 
Um, it remains popular for them today. This is uh, an older version with the aluminum and the flipper tab. And then this is uh, one that an awesome subscriber gave to me with some carbon fiber and no flipper tab. This is the M16-1. Number five, we have the Benchmade 940 Osborne, which was introduced in 2000, designed by the late, great Warren Osborne. He was, you know, just a very impactful person in the knife community and a phenomenal, phenomenal knife maker and designer. Uh, there have been at least 16 different versions of the uh, 940 that I know of, and I'm sure there are much more than that. Um... It's popular for customizations and being a great EDC size, weight, and comfort in hand. Uh, very versatile blade shape on it and still very, very popular one today uh, for collectors and just EDC enthusiasts. Um, so much so popular that they came out with this mini version and it has become a pretty popular one for them as well. Number six, the Benchmade Griptilian, introduced in 2001, designed by Knife Maker Hall of Famer Mel Pardue, who has passed away uh, last year in 2022. Uh, man, he's going to be missed. Uh, the Grip became popular for its comfortable ergos, reliable performance, and vast options for customization. This is a stand-in for the large grip. This is the Hogue Ritter RSK. It's pretty much the same exact um, knife but this one's made by Hogue now because I no longer have my full-size grip. This is my mini grip with some aftermarket uh, micarta scales on it. But the stock scales, super comfortable, super tough. Even though they're plastic, they are very, very reliable and tough. Just a very versatile blade shape, whether you get the drop point or the sheep's foot. Very, very popular knives, and they still remain so today. Number seven, we have the Kershaw Leak, which was introduced in 2002, designed by custom knife maker Ken Onion. And at that time, Ken Onion was there, uh, was Kershaw's main designer. He became popular, the knife became popular for its sleek and easy to carry design, along with its speed assist opening mechanism. Um, there have been so many different variations over the years, still remain strong in their catalog today. Uh, you also now have uh, the random leak, which just is a different blade shape for the leak pattern. And here's one of those uh, many different variations. This was an Orange County Choppers version that was released in uh, April of, was it 08? It looks like, let's see, yeah, April of 08. So definitely uh, a cool knife, not one that I carry as much anymore. I'm not a big assist fan. Number eight, the Spyderco Paramilitary, which came out in 2004. Then later in 2010, we, we got the Paramilitary 2, which is still around today, designed by Eric and Sal Glesser, and was intended to be a more compact version of its bigger brother, the Spyderco Military, which came out in 1996. Um, the PM2 has had many different variation sprint runs in different steels and different scales. This particular one is in CPM 15V and the aftermarket uh, scales options are endless as well. These are some Flytanium micarta scales that are were complete game changer for this knife and a KC Lynch deep carry pocket clip. This one is the S45 VN which is now the uh, standard steel for the Param Paramilitary 2. And uh, it surpassed the Spyderco military in my eyes. Number nine, the Ontario Rap Model 1, which came out in 2008, designed by knife maker Jeff Randall of Randall's Adventure Training. That's where Rat came from. In collaboration with Ontario Knife Company, probably one of the most reviewed knives on YouTube, if I had to say. Um, popular among enthusiasts for a beater knife uh, or size comparison knife and outdoorsman as well for being a super tough affordable pocket knife um, that started out in all state steel now you can get them in d2 steel and they also have its little brother the ontario rap model 2 and number 10 we have the crkt pilar which came out in 2017 designed by custom knife maker jesper voxnays popular for its compact size while still being big enough for bigger hands due to its forward finger choil. Very versatile blade shape and comfortable handle. And uh, now they <coughs> they have so many different 
after aftermarket scale options, uh, some Micarta G10 different options, and um, you have your first Pilar, which is the smallest, more compact one. Then you have the Pilarge, which is the Pilar Large right here, and then you have the Pilar 3. And now they have the Pilar 4, which is a Bowie-shaped blade one. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the bunch. It's uh, the most comfortable, and it has the best action. And I haven't had any issues with uh, it like I had on uh, all three, all of these right here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please slap a like on it and let me know. Did I miss any? Like I said, there's a few that I know, like the Savord and the Meerkat and stuff like that. Um, I just couldn't couldn't put too many more it would have been a 30 minute video so if you have any questions comments concerns please leave down below i hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day i will see y'all on the most epic peace